this is our campsite at the Niagara Falls Grand Island KOA, Western New York. So one of the swimming pools here at the Niagara Falls, Grand Island KOA. And then there's a little bit of a playground. You can probably see the jump pad on the other side. <clears throat> and if you A little further to the left. It's a nice little dog park down there at the end of the path. Okay, so the Niagara Falls Grand Island KOA has a laundry room and a game room as well. So let's go inside and take a look. It's actually a pretty expansive laundry room. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six washing machines here. All lined up in a row. Have a nice cart to help you move your laundry from one side to another. Oh, I lied about the uh, number of washing machines. They have six more on this side. It's a lot of, a lot of washing machines. It's one of the nicer facilities I've ever seen. And then the dryers are over here. Place to sit down. This is some toy and gumball vending machines, and then on this side is the game room. I doubt if Andrew is going to let me come over here and spend any of our, our precious laundry quarters. <laughs> but uh, this Pac Man, Galaga, got air hockey here in the middle. Couple of shooter games. So, pretty nice. Okay, this, this might be an invasion of privacy, but uh, um, this area of the world near Buffalo, New York, uh, they got some passionate fans. And I'm guessing these guys are permanent here, um, so they live here. But they got their American flag, their Bills flag. And you're gonna see the, the Buffalo Bills fans. So I just think that's great. Um, this is I-190, that's the main road between Buffalo and Niagara Falls. It goes right across Grand Island here. There you go. Let's go Buffalo. But this road over here, it's the main road. It's the interstate highway. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to be on this side of the campground, to be honest. Um, I guarantee Andre would not like to be here either. It is uh, it's rather loud, rather noisy. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning right now, and uh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of traffic noise. RV walls are very thin. Now, even at our campsite, which is a little further away, you hear the traffic, but it's much further in the distance, so it's not nearly uh, not nearly as as uh, 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 easily hurt. Not 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 very not not prominent. And then over here, they have several dog parks. Um, this one's kind of tucked away at the far end corner of the camp of the uh, campground, and it's a uh, <clears throat> it's you know as dog parks go, it's typical size, but they have it wrapping around a couple of trees and 
some of the woods, some activities for the dogs to do. A nice little, uh, nice little seat for you to sit while your dogs park. Again, there goes uh, some of the traffic on I-90. So, almost every KOA that we've stayed at has these cabins. So if you don't want to be actually in an RV or you don't own an RV, you can still have a camping experience. But this KOA, I think, has gone above and beyond. Um, here you can see their primitive sites as well. Um, how nice they are. <laughs> some of them have pads. Some of them have furniture. And this is like an entire little neighborhood here. I'll walk down the road here, bypass the cars. It's just a row of cabin upon cabin. So like I said, it's a little little neighborhood. You can see some of the some of the cabins. It's like a, there's a little stream down there. But I don't know if I've ever seen where you have to take a pathway. You park somewhere else and take a pathway to your uh, to your cabin. So uh, <clears throat> very nice. So here's a little pathway you can take down to the uh, the other cabins that are. So you can hear down, this is the little stream. So I'm on a bridge. But you see there's yeah, the little cabins are right down here. I may be uh, obsessing on these cabins, but these are nice. These are all, all kind of overlooking the, uh, the outdoor pool. Got this nice little pathway to pathway to get up to. A little bit of the landscaping too. So it's a well taken care of KOA. So all around the campground I've been seeing these, especially around the primitive sites and these cabins. And looks like the campground provides a nice little cart for you to load up your stuff. So you load up the stuff in your car here behind me. It's a little bit of a parking lot. And then you can walk it down the path to your, uh, to your cabin. Here's uh, some more of these cabins. This is just an interesting little, what we call primitive sites. I used to call them tent sites, but they have water and electric, a little, a little structure there to put stuff or prepare food. A seagull going over. There's a few more down there. Some of them, as you can see, have have tables and chairs. Over here, you can see actually a, a tent set up. Okay, this is the uh, the rec center at the Niagara Falls Grand Island KOA. We have another jump pad. 
There's an outdoor pool. The basketball hoop here is adjustable. So, for shorter, younger kids, they can still play some basketball and maybe make some hoops. But this facility here is pretty impressive because not only is it a pool, they have pickleball, they have ladder ball, they have a bocce, a whole bocce setup. Looks like they have horseshoes over here. So plenty for the kids to do. So this is the other side of the outdoor pool here in the rec room building. Might have to check that out a little more, but over here we have pickleball. Never played pickleball myself. Looks like a combination of uh, like a mini tennis court. So it's almost like a ping pong and tennis kind of combined. So uh, lots of things to do. So this is another playground. And this might be the longest zip line I've ever seen on a playground. So we got the sun shining on us here, but kind of go back here. This is all, you know, very nice play area, slides, things to climb on. But this zip line goes all the way the length of the playground. And you can see the, the swing that you would sit in. Right there, and it ends on this side. So, pretty cool. And this is the uh, the office, the general store. It's a uh, it seemed pretty well stocked with uh, things you may need to pick up. Convenient. And then they uh, they also run out these. These little three-wheeled, three-wheeled bicycle devices. If you want to pedal around the campground, this is another lake. Right here, uh, this is at the very front of the campground where you enter. Looks like they have some some paddle boats for you to rent. And, you can see on the other side of the lake is uh, the jump pad. And uh, just beyond the fountain there is a dog park. So another one of the dog parks here at the Niagara Falls Grand Island KOA. Always something spectacular getting to see sunrises. Just a pretty little lake looking back towards the rec center there. Right here in the middle of the campground. Some of the wildlife. Huh. So they scared the bunny. So a little lake right here in the middle of the campground. would have to investigate if fishing is allowed. I think it's catch and release. I think that's what they told me when we uh, checked in. A couple other cabins are uh, the lakeside. Tim and Andrea here from yep. TNA Adventures. We're about to do a review of the Niagara Falls Grand Island KOA. Yes. So what do you know about the Buffalo, New York area? I know a lot about the Buffalo, New York area since uh, I grew up there. Ah, so go Bills. 
your favorite expert? Yeah, total expert on the entire area. Mafia! Haven't lived there for 30 years, but yeah, I'm an expert. <laughs> so we did stay at the KOA on Grand Island. Uh, it's about halfway between Buffalo and Niagara Falls, roughly-ish. Ish. Um, so Western New York, Buffalo area, I, personally for me, not growing up there, I like going to Buffalo. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a really nice area of the world. The people are kind of salt of the earth. Um, they're passionate about their bills. Uh, it's a, it's a I pretty should place. Be my bill shirt. Yeah, you should be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you get in trouble with the NFL, I'm sure, if we did that. So, anyway, yep, campground was the Grand Island um, KOA. It is right next to Fantasy Island. Uh, <laughs> growing up in the area, Fantasy Island was a huge theme park. Uh, it's still a huge theme park. Well, smaller theme park now. Um, but it is right next to the campground. Deep Nope. Not that, that kind of Fantasy Island. Um, it's oh. a it's a nice campground. Yeah, it's big. Um, I, I think I think it started small and they expanded uh, into a an area next door. Um, overall, the campground campground's nice. It's kind of what you expect from a KOA. Uh, you're going to pay a little more, but you kind of get you, you get a little more. Uh, is the expectation? Yeah, and this one was one of the holiday KOAs. It's easy to find. Kind of there's the highway. You take another road and you turn off. Easy to find. Um, a lot of pull through sites. Um, there were a lot of cabins. I, they have like yes. this whole little cabin village. Yes. Um, and the reason you kind of think it might have been built in two stages is because there is the one section and then all of a sudden there's like this other section in the back. So in the front section there's a, um, there's a pool, a playground, and one of those bounce pad things for the kids. And a lake. And a lake, that's right, it's a catch and release fishing. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the back Part, there's another playground. Yeah, it's a giant playground, uh, a, a much larger outdoor pool. They have like a rec center back there. Um, they had the world's longest playground zip line ride thing that I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> which, uh, which you saw earlier in the video. <clears throat> um, they had uh, ladder ball, they had pickleball, they had basketball, they had uh, uh, cornhole uh, set up for bocce ball. Um, I, it's almost like if you were bored, you were bored because you wanted to be bored. Uh, there's there, there's plenty to do, and uh, especially for kids. Uh, definitely a kid-friendly campground uh, with yeah. all the playgrounds oh, yeah. and pools and fishing ponds. There's another fishing pond in like the newer section as well, which uh, uh, of course is catch and release. Yeah. So the other thing, again, I said there's a lot of pull-through sites. We were in. Um, we were kind of behind. Where there were some cabins, like it was the bounce pad, a couple cabins, and then there, like we were in this one row. It was actually a little bit quieter where we were, even though you were kind of close to the playground. Um, but having those couple cabins kind of as a buffer didn't make it a yeah. big deal. Um, the sites do not have pads; it's just gravel and grass. Um, this are like where the Rick sat, that was pretty level. Yeah. Um, but like where the, the picnic table was kind of, you know, a little tilted. We were also lucky because we had a tree, um, which gave us some nice afternoon yeah. shade. Yeah, when we were checking, when I was at the, at the uh, front of the desk, uh, the person in front of me was asking for a shaded site, and he said, we don't have any. He actually had to remove a lot of trees several years ago uh, because of some sort of beetle infestation. So you're not going to find a lot of shade. Yeah, there you go. Revelation. I didn't you know that. A uh, um, couple things to watch out for. Um, Fantasy Island, the roller coaster was closed. I don't know if it was repairs, maintenance, whatever, but if that thing were going, it would have been noisy. Yeah, going you would have heard it. You would have heard yeah. it. Uh, and they have, a, they have a train that goes around, and they do a, uh, like a, a train, train robbery. Show. And so there's a shootout, and um, you can hear the popping noises and, and things like that. The shootout, and I'm sure it's, it's a lot of fun to see. Um, however, if you have dogs, that are not happy with loud noises, eh, freaked, uh, freaked Jerry out a little bit. 
Yeah, and the, and the show happens a couple times a day, yeah. so it was like we would happen to be outside and then you'd hear it, so. Now, on the other end of the campsite, the kind of the newer end where the big rec center is, that's literally like right next to the uh, I-190, the, the 190. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or do you mean the 290? Whatever, whatever the main road is, it goes through there. What's that main road? Well, What's the Grand, it's Grand Island Boulevard. It's the 190 over there. Yeah, the 190. So we're gonna have an argument on camera. Um, the 190 and and like you, like the traffic, the, the trucks rolling by, it's it's right there. You saw it earlier in the video as well. So you kind of choose your campsites wisely, I guess is the, the, yeah. the, the message there. Um, but yeah, a lot of interesting things to do inside the campground. If yeah. You're, if you're blind. Yeah, and again through the area, you're close to the falls because. You know, we were there because it was also on my mom's birthday weekend. Hi, mom. Happy birthday. Um, but uh, so we didn't stay, you know, we didn't spend our entire day at the campground. We were, you know, with yeah. family most of the day. So we were there, you know, kind of in the morning at night. Again, we come back, tons of kids on the playground. So, you know, I'm sure people are going to Fantasy Island. I don't know if they offer discount tickets because we weren't even looking into it. But there is also, like, right like on the 190 there's a um, a welcome center yep. so they you know I'm sure they can give you tons of information what to do right there. Yep. Um, or the people in the office yeah yeah they're very very friendly staff um, and I mean if you if you go to that area you don't go to Niagara Falls I don't even want to know you <laughs> Um, the Hydro Falls is always spectacular uh, we didn't get a chance to go yeah, but we, we were a little, this a little pressed yeah. for time uh, Buffalo itself, it, you know, I I personally think Buffalo gets a bad rap by by many yeah, people that have never just, really been there. Everybody yeah. just makes fun of snow, and that's <laughs> yeah, that's not. Uh, the downtown's really trying to revitalize. There's you know the Bisons were in town. They're a Triple A baseball team, or at least they used to be. They might be Double A. Yeah. Know, I don't know. Yeah, but go to a Bison's um, game. The, there's Canal Side, which you know you're probably not going to be at the campground in the winter, but they do ice skating and all kinds of fun things in the winter. They do fun things in the summer. There's new like microbreweries popping up, all kinds of you know cool little places that are you know in in town. Yeah, I would check out the seasonal so, open dates for the uh, for the campground. I mean, you do have the world famous Buffalo Sabers. You do. Yes. <laughs> Play there as well. And if you do not get wings, again, I don't even want to know you. Uh, so the, the origin of the uh, of the buffalo wing and, and the beef on beef on whack. Yeah. Um, and the other the other thing right down the street, you can't miss it. You got to go to Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. Yeah, so you got to get got to go coffee, to Tim's. Coffee, donuts. It's yeah. Coffee's good. The their breakfast sandwiches are not quite as sizzly, but on on the wall oh, yeah. on it's the scale of one being 7-Eleven and ten being Wawa. Tim Hortons is probably a good eight and a half nine. So there you go. Yeah. High praise from me. Right. Yeah, that is. Um, and then th it is also convenient because there's a grocery store. There's a Tops just down the street. So uh, yeah, that's convenient to a lot of things. Right. So, so so like likes and dislikes. I I liked I like the uh, the convenience. Uh, mm -hmm. Easy to get to. Uh, easy to maneuver. Um, especially if you have a larger camper. Ours is not large by large standards but it's big enough um, I, I like that there's a ton of things for the kids to do so you're not gonna have the kids sitting around being bored uh, you know nothing to do around here kind of stuff there's plenty plenty of that for them to do yeah Any, anything else you want to throw in there no got to see got to see uh, your mom my mother-in-law that was I like that um, this dislikes I I would say that the, the noise that the traffic noise on that one end um, yeah, but we didn't see we, on that yeah, end, we so there. you don't really yeah. know that's... Yeah. Um, I, know, I know you definitely would not have liked that, especially like 2 in the morning when trucks was in line. And I, I, Fantasy Island seemed nice. Um, yeah, that, I, but, I yeah, haven't been there since it the, 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 the noise from the, from the, the uh, train robbery, and I imagine the, the roller coaster may have became, become a little grating, but uh, it's hard yeah. to find dislikes with this camera. Yeah, I, nice. I mean, uh, again, I... I could see people complaining because there's not shade or the, um, you know, the fact it is just a gravel site. And, uh, we didn't even bother putting a rug out, so I don't know if they would have said anything about having a rug on the grass. So, um, and again, if we spent a lot of time there with the picnic table being a little, we, you know, we might have moved it. All right. But 
So, yeah. so Grant, not, I always get Niagara Falls, Grand Island KOA gets four paws, four paws up. Four paws up. Four, four paws up. So uh, again, if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the, uh, the like button. I think it's on that side. I think it is. <laughs> subscribe and uh, um, follow along. Follow along on our adventures. We're, uh, we're having some fun out here on the road. <laughs> and we're also not having some fun, but uh, uh, again, we're going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yep. Uh, but uh, we're, we're uh, making our way to South Carolina and enjoying the adventure. Yep. So bye for now. See you next time.